Where was I? I believe it was Alma 45. And Alma Jr. is bitching out Corey Horror and saying, How dare you ask for the same treatment I received? And you asked for it, but I didn't. But I got it. And you don't. But hey, it's all who. Depends on who you know. And besides, his daddy was high priest. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph Smith's got a big hang up on him. Sons being named after their dad. Being a little bit awry. Uh, at 45. And yet ye go about leading away the hearts of this people, testifying unto them, there shall be no God. And yet will ye deny against all these witnesses, all those dead planets, and, uh, and everything, the earth being the way it is, and I mean, how else could it be that way, right? It couldn't just be that way. Uh, I think I just did a loop-to-loop -loop in my own brain. And he said, Yea, I will deny, except ye shall show me, show me a sign. I think he's got every right to ask. Especially from Alma Jr., Prick. 46. And now it came to pass. I don't like the sound of that all of a sudden. Oh. That Alma Jr. said unto him, Behold, I am grieved because of the hardness of your heart. Yea, that ye will still resist the spirit of the truth, that thy soul may be destroyed. 47. But behold, it is better that thy soul should be lost, than that thou shouldst be the means of bringing many souls down to destruction. Ah, preemptive measures. By thy lying and by thy flattering words. Yeah, there is no God. That sounds flattering. Your your dads all your dads were liars and all your ancestors. They're fools. Yeah. Flattering. What the fuck? That's flattering? He was an asshole, maybe, but He's definitely not a flatterer. <laughs> Fuck you, Alma Jr. You fictional fucktard. I know, it's, that sounds crazy, and it is. <laughs> uh, flattering words. Therefore, if thou shalt deny again, double dare you, you know, knock this thing off my shoulder and cross this line I drew in the dirt. <laughs> Therefore, if you, thou shalt deny him again, behold, God shall smite thee, that thou shalt become dumb, that thou shalt never open thy mouth any more. Good way to shut him up. That thou shalt not deceive this people anymore. 48. Now, Cory Hor said unto him, I do not deny the existence of a God, but I do not believe that there is a God. And I say also that ye do not know that there is a God. And except ye show me a sign, I will not believe. How dare you? Even though that's exactly the case that brought Alma Jr. 
to his holier than thou state. Unequal my ass. Forty nine. Now Alma said unto him, This will I give unto thee for a sign that thou shalt be struck dumb. It's going to hit mute. <laughs> According to thy words, and I say that in the name of God, ye shall be struck dumb, that ye shall no more have utterance, which is a huge, massive oxymoron, which is the opposite of an oxymoron. An oxymoron. An oxymoron is the opposite. <laughs> it's the antonym of oxymoron. Fifty. Now, when Alma said these words, Cory Hor was struck dumb <laughs> that he could not have utterance according to the words of Alma. <laughs> Fifty-one. And now, when the chief judge saw this, he put forth his hand and wrote unto Cory Hor, saying, What the fuck? You're writing a note to a guy who's mute. He can fucking hear you, dickhead. Didn't say he was struck deaf. He's dumb. He's dumb. He's mute. That's like shouting at a deaf person. You fucking dickheads. <laughs> he wrote him a note because the other guy can't talk. <laughs> he wrote him a note because that guy can't talk. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> Yeah, words of Alma. Okay, 51. <laughs> All right. And now, when the chief judge saw this, he put forth his hand. All right, that's where I was. <laughs> Let's go ahead and proceed on as if I had had that out first. He wrote a note. <laughs> Unto Cory Horror saying, <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta just skip that board. <laughs> He wrote a mute guy a note, <laughs> but he can talk. <laughs> and the mute guy can hear. <laughs> I know that's retarded. I shouldn't be laughing so hard. It's been a long day. <laughs> a little tired. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's so fucking dumb. All right, let's read his note <laughs> to a mute guy. Who can hear? <laughs> Art thou convinced of the power of God? <laughs> oh man, my I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, my vision was getting blurry. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> and whom? Did ye desire that Alma should show forth his sign? Huh? Neater, neater. <laughs> Would ye that he should afflict others to show unto thee a sign? No, I mean, you know, everybody speaking the same language all of a sudden would be a 
One hell of a miracle that convinced me. Only God could do that if everybody suddenly could speak the same language. That would convince me, for the record. <sighs> Maybe a couple other things I haven't thought of. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Yeah, behold, he has shown unto you a sign, and now will ye dispute more? And Corihor put forth his hand and wrote, saying, Start the violin. Sorry, we got the wrong music, but hey, it's Iron Butterfly in the God of Gavita. I, mean, I think it's somehow appropriate. I don't know why, but I like it. Uh, uh, and I know, wait, uh, let's read what Cory Hor wrote. Uh, I know that I am dumb, for I cannot speak. And I know that nothing save it were the power of God could bring me, bring this upon me. And I know that there was a God. It's funny, his English got better when he got mute. Now he's writing proper English, uh, you know, of his time. In verse 53. Yeah, Corihor suddenly doesn't write in this archaic style all of a sudden. Well, maybe in the next verse. Let's see. 53, he's still writing, I think. But behold, the devil hath... All right, we threw a hath in. That helps. Deceived me, for he appeared unto me in the form of an angel. Oh, really? Is that how people become atheists? I didn't know that. But the devil appears to atheists as an angel and tells them there's no God. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, appeared unto me in the form of an angel, the devil did. Damn him. <laughs> and said unto me, Go and reclaim this people to the church of nothing, I guess. The church of no church. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think the church of nothing probably sounds best, though. <laughs> The church of no church. I like that too. Though. All right. <laughs> yeah, re go and reclaim this people that demon said or angel devil guy. Uh, for they have gone astray after an unknown God. And he said unto me, There is no God. Yay. And he taught me that which I should say. And I have taught, and I was, wait, and I have taught his words. And I taught them because I was, if they were pleasing unto the carnal mind. And I taught them even until I had success, insomuch that I verily believed that they were true. So at least you convinced yourself, because he didn't have much luck at otherwise. <laughs> Not too much. And for this cause, I withstood the truth. <laughs> oh, right. Even... Until I have brought this great curse upon me. Fifty-four. Now, when he had said this, he besought that Alma should pray unto God that the curse might be taken from him. Come on, Alma. Come on. Don't be a dick. You can't be a dick all the time, can you? Let's see. Uh, Fifty-five. But Alma said unto him, if this curse should be taken from thee, uh, thou wouldst again lead away the hearts of this people. Therefore it shall be unto thee, even as the Lord will. 
<laughs> We're getting all archaic again. <laughs> 56. And it came to pass... Ugh. Hang on. Six. All right, and it came to pass that the curse was not taken off of Corey Horde. Then it didn't come to pass at all. Come on, it came to pass that it didn't come to pass. <laughs> all right, it's finally come to that. It came to pass that it didn't come to pass. What the fuck? <laughs> that the curse was not taken off of Corey Whore, but he was cast out and went about from house to house begging for food. <clears throat> 57. Now, the knowledge of what had happened unto Corey Whore was immediately published throughout all the land. Yay! The proclamation was sent forth by the chief judge to all the people in the land, declaring unto th those <coughs> who had believed in the words of Cory Hor, not to be confused with Knee Hor. This is Cory Hor, <laughs> and they're both. About as bad as Alma Jr. was pre-angelic fucking visit. <sighs> oh, yeah. It came to pass and it didn't come to pass. There we go. Yeah, he went back in for food. Uh, 57, yeah, uh, was published uh, throughout all the land. Yay! The proclamation was sent forth by the chief judge. Another touchdown for God and JC, who hasn't even fucking been born yet. But he's still died for your sins. Even back then, before he was born. According to this gold book, this gold Bible. Uh, uh, immediately published throughout all the land, yea, a proclamation was sent forth by the chief judge to all the people in the land, declaring unto the, those who had believed in the words of Corihor that they must speedily repent. Ah, see all that freedom they had to believe as they wanted? See? <laughs> uh, lest the same judgment would come unto them. 58. And it came to pass... That there were all... Uh, that they were all convinced of the wickedness of Therefore, they were all converted again unto the Lord. Because they're sheep and it's that fucking easy. And this uh, put an end to the iniquity after the manner of Corihor. And Corihor did go about from house to house begging for food for his support like he just fucking said in 56 but now we're in 58 <laughs> much repetition there gold book writer guy 
59. And it came to pass... Ugh. There we go. Ah. 59. And it came to pass that as he went forth among the people, yea, among a people who had separated themselves from the Nephites and called themselves Zoromites, being led by a man whose name was Zoram. And as he went forth amongst them, behold, he was run upon and trodden down, or Cory Horn, even until he was dead. Sixty. And thus we see the end of him who perverteth the ways of the Lord and atheism. <laughs> and thus we see that the devil will not support his children at the last day, but doth speedily drag them down to hell. All right, I got a little theory here, and I got a tiny bit of time. Uh, Joseph Smith does such a good job of strawmanning atheism, it's hard to believe he's a real believer in Christianity. I think a lot of Christians are right. This guy was never a real Christian. Uh, he pulled this fucking shit out of his ass. <laughs> And people bought into it because it sounded ancient. It sounded like that other book a little bit. <laughs> I mean, there's if if a guy really believed in all that Christianity stuff, even if he was confused and he thought he had a vision, he didn't fucking find no fucking book. He had to write this shit, or he had to find it some other place and do his own work on it, but. I think this uh, this verse here, this chapter, uh, I think it's very telling. This Cory Horror sounds like I, I don't know. If this is a work of Joseph Smith's imagination, like I think, that meant that he didn't really have a whole lot of respect for all the sacred shit. He was a snake oil salesman. Sorry about that, folks. I'll keep reading this book, but I mean, chapter 30 pretty much sinks it. Not that it hasn't been sunk it several times already by its own. I mean, I'm just reading the words, right? You be the judge. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful. What the fuck it is you're having? <laughs>